Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with GB Reps. Luke and Pat McCormack. I've got that the right way around. Luke. Yeah. Pat. Pat. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> it's not like you're not twins, let's be fair. Um, only the second twins to uh, win ABA titles on the same night, I believe, as well, after the Langleys. Is that right? Uh, I believe so, but they didn't do it, they didn't do it both different ways, so we've got a little step ahead of them, haven't we, really? Fair enough. Talking about weights, haven't you both had to move up? So you were previously at 60, you moved up to 64, you were 64, then moved up to 69. Uh, as that kind of worked out? Because you moving up has then left the space for you, so did you yeah, kind of discuss he, it? He moved, off, he moved up first after the Olympics, and uh, I had a few bouts after... I like had 60 kilo and then I just couldn't make the weight anymore. I saw my boxing start going downhill. You know, I was skipping the weight off. So I thought, fuck that, I'm, getting, I'm moving up. He was getting a little bit too big. He started pushing us around the house and that. <laughs> Is that true? You started bullying him, did you? Try to. Always been bullying him. <laughs> I've always been the bigger twin, do you know what I mean? Are you the, who's the oldest twin? Nah, me, uh, 45 minutes older. Wow, that's quite a long gap. I feel sorry for your mum. <laughs> <laughs> that's like hard, hard, hard day's work. Birth. Yeah. What's it like doing this together? It must. Does it add something to it doing it as brothers rather than just with a bunch of mates? Yeah, well, it's, you've always got a training partner, no matter what. Like, oh, do you want to go for a run? Yeah, you've always you're not by yourself, so much better push each other on. When I, when I'm having a bad day, he'll have a good day. When he's having a good day, I'll have a bad day. I think it's a lonely sport if you're by yourself. But obviously, um, I've got a I've got a twin brother do, coming along with us on the runs, on the training, and that. So it's not not as lonely. Do you know what I mean? You've always got someone there with you, uh, pushing you on. Do you know what I mean? Is there a flip side to that though? Do you kind of live in each other's pockets a little bit? Do you ever get on each other's nerves? Not really. It's it's been like it's been yeah, like I the womb. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it is what it is. Since the womb, so it's just one of them. Yeah. Um, do you remember being scared in the womb? Recently, form hasn't been great for you. I think it's fair to say compared to the high standards you set previously. Anything you've identified as the reason behind that? Well, I've only I've only been beat off top kids, world world champions, and world medalists. So. I can't really, can't really beat myself up too much about it, but I'm getting, I'm getting closer to the top spot, really. At this sort of level, it's kind of the really small things that make the difference. Have you kind of identified what it is you'd like to, to improve? Yeah, just concentration in the third round. I always, I always like, lose my concentration, get dragged into a little bit of a fight. You know, when the crowd's going and you're getting a little bit tired, I get dragged into a little bit of a fight sometimes, but I'm just starting to get a grasp of it now and just starting to box. Who are kind of your main rivals at your weight, both for the Worlds coming up and, and Tokyo next year? Uh, the, friend, the French lad who beat us in the, uh, the Europeans, so I'm dying to get him back, so, so hopefully I'll beat him for a medal. And you, Pat, obviously you've just come off the uh, European Games in June, did really well, um, beat the, was it the Rio silver medalist in the semi-final? Yeah. And then good win against the Russian as well in the final. What did you make of your performance overall? Yeah, I felt good. I'm uh, on top form. I've, uh, that's the third Europeans I've been to. I got silver twice, so it was nice to get the uh, gold on my last one before I turned pro. Is there much competition between the two of you? You obviously spur each other on, but is there a rivalry at all? Nah, not at all. We're different weights. Do you know what I mean? It's just one of them. Your brothers, you, you, you fight together, not against each other, do you know what I mean? Is the long-term plan to go pro, or are you only focusing no, no. on the Olympics? No, I guaranteed. Uh, I wouldn't be doing all this if I wasn't going to turn pro. This is just like... You're getting these medals in, it just puts it like a better CV for when you turn pro. That's it, and that's it. Yeah, it's like, this is like sort of like an apprenticeship, do you know what I mean? Uh, I've took all my losses and made all my steep mistakes as an amateur. I think if I went pro after the, uh, after the last Olympics, it would have just been no good. Do you know what I mean? Uh, my head was a bit in the clouds, so <laughs> I'd have been no good getting loads of money and that would have just that's no good. <laughs> so I've learned now, I'm a bit more mature now, so I'm, I've made all my mistakes, I've took all my losses, so I'm ready to go straight into the pros and start winning some belts. Guaranteed. Let's do a little bit of Mr and Mrs, or rather in this case, twin and twin, or brother and brother. We'll think of a better title. Um, what's his best quality? Um, keep him focused. He's, al he's always focused. He doesn't really switch off. Um, he knows how to win a fight. Like, he knows how to, when to push it. You know, like when, when it's a close bout, he knows when to step it up or ease off. Very, very experienced. Um, probably his strength. He's got that um, that one punch, not all power, but sees red mist a little bit too much. So now when he gets caught with little daft jabs and that, he wants to kill people. But I've he's got he's got that. I've been trying to get a hold of He's got that get out of jail card. So tell me, that's all you need. What's his most annoying habit? Annoying habit. We're in the ring. Well, don't just generally. <laughs> <laughs> Why are there a lot? He's a bad driver. Bad <laughs> And what's his most annoying? Habit? Um, he's a bad driver too. <laughs> <laughs> so we shouldn't let any of you near the road, basically. Yeah. How often do you guys get to go back home? 
every week we go home. We stay here Monday to Thursday, go home for the weekend. And you are you still at home with your parents, or do you yeah. got your own place? Or? Yeah, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move out the house when I uh, when I finish this GB and get a little bit of money. What on your own, or are you gonna move out together? Nah, we'll be yeah. moving, nah, on our own. Can you be separate? This will be the first time ever, won't it? We can't live together forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm Father Ted and Dougal. I share everyone with them down here, so I'm here one more week and then I go home. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes it's just alright just to get out the way a bit. What's it like combining your training back home with what you do up here in Sheffield? How's it different? Yeah, I think like down here, like they get they get you as fit and as strong as they can. You've got the best of spawn, but I like going back to me uh, back home to my club coach. Um, to work on my techniques, to work on things, because there's that many coaches down here. Like you work on different things with different ones. Do you know what I mean? It's nice just to uh, get back with your, with your club coach, and like you've got like a different connection with your club coach. Do you know what I mean? You, he, he knows you inside out, and uh, he knows what you need to work on. What, 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 do you know what I mean? So yeah, I like I like going back home, working with my club coach a lot, Green Rutherford. We've been we've been with Green Rutherford for like 13 years now, so he literally knows us like inside out. So any any little mistakes he picks up on. Do you know what I mean? Like. If we come down here and we haven't seen him for a while and you do the pads of him, it's just it's a nightmare because you've got to get everything perfect. How much extra would it mean to you guys? Obviously, you both want to win Olympic medals anyway, preferably gold, but how would it mean an extra thing to do it together on the same Olympics? The, 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 the money, the price will go up, wouldn't it, for when we turn pro? Oh, yeah, that too, that's, yeah. That's, that's always, Not what I was going for, but yeah. That's all, that's all we're looking for, really. That's all you're looking for these Olympic medals, just, just a, a platform to turn pro to get more money. And do you go along with that? Is there is there a sentimental aspect as well? I guess is yeah, what I'm asking. Obviously, you want to win a limited medal, but like you want that money, don't you? Really? Well, obviously, it'd be unbelievable to win a limited medal, but you wouldn't want to win it if there was no money in it. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't want to just win it and put it put it in your uh, trophy case to get dust on. Just get dusty. <laughs> so do you guys then? <laughs> so does that mean you guys then pretty much come as a package? So when you do turn pro, it's almost certainly going to be with the same promoter, so they can put you on the shows together. He could he could have turned pro after the Rio Olympics, yeah. but it would, it would have been a. It's just a bigger deal if both of us turn pro together. Uh, is that one of the reasons why you delayed? Um, I don't think I would have turned pro anyway, but I don't know. Obviously, be, I, could, I couldn't go without him. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't be an Olympian and him not be one. And I had to stay for the Olympics, didn't I? I, was, I, I did want to turn pro, but I thought, you got to get that, Olympic, that Olympian under your belt, don't you? Tell the grandkids. What do you think about the state of kind of North East boxing at the moment? Because you've got guys like Josh Kelly, Lewis Ritson, obviously not from too far away from you, doing really well in the pro game. Is it a good time after Tokyo, obviously, to turn pro? Do you think the North East boxing, like for the last ten years, it's not been the, not been the best, has it really? But it's just starting to come good now, like with them new opening the door. And then after, after these twenty twenty, I think we'll just take over. Are they kind of guys that you look up to, or do you look further back? Guys like Billy Hardy, for example. Who, who would you look at? I didn't really look up to any boxers, to be honest. Didn't really look at anyone. Uh, I like I like watching like the sort of likes like Floyd Mayweather, like Vasyl Lomachenko, are the best of the best. Obviously, sometimes when you're watching boxing, if 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 they're not the best, it's just boring. Same yeah, for you. It's not, if it's not top level, I don't really like watching it. To be honest, to be honest, I'm in the gym that much. Sometimes I just don't even want don't even want to focus on boxing. I just want to just chill out. With that in mind, what do you guys do when you're not training and stuff? What do you get up to that you're allowed to stay on camera? Just dance. <laughs> well, just round the house. Yeah, yeah. He's a good dancer, him, you know. <laughs> you should have said that is his best quality. He's got the moves. He's got other qualities, but <laughs> let's, not, let's, let's just not get on that, innit? All right, well, we really appreciate it. Before we let you go, we'll start with you, Luke. Just tell us, uh, or tell the people out there, your social media handles so they can follow you. Social what? Social media handles, like um, Twitter, Instagram. Call my number one at, uh, on Instagram, and I don't really use anything else, to be honest. And you, Pat? Yeah, You're just going to look them up now? My name's Pat McCormack 14, uh, I don't really use Twitter and Facebook. Brilliant. Instagram's not the only one I use really. Look at on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, get the Snapchat one in. Well, it's been a pleasure speaking to you both. Wish you the best of luck with the Worlds and obviously the Olympics going forward. Cheers, Cheers lads.